Hi everyone, my name is Joe Stokes. I'm a core consultant here at the Information Lab. Uh, today in this video, we're going to be looking at Tableau's latest release, 2022.1. Uh, we've got a whole host of new features coming in. Uh, Tableau tend to work in 30s, so every time we get a new Tableau release, we tend to get sort of 30 new features to, to get our head around. So loads and loads of new, new features, loads and loads of different ways that Tableau are looking to improve their product. Uh, we can sort of scroll down the list, and if we try to do uh, all of these features, it'll be a very long video. And to make it a little bit more digestible, I'm going to be picking out sort of my favorite three new features that I think are going to really bring a lot uh, to Tableau as we move forward. So the first feature I wanted to look at was the Workbook Optimizer. Uh, on the surface, it seems like a really, really exciting feature that Tableau have brought. Effectively, uh, the way it's being sold is that any user that builds a workbook can use this optimizer to make sure they're getting the most performant workbook possible. Of course, there are going to be trade-offs, and, and that's acknowledged in the kind of the blurb here on the left, that we don't want to compromise our insights, but we can sort of make sure we're following best practices to get the best out of our workbook. If I flip over to Tableau, then, we can see that the optimizer now lives in the server section of the menu options at the top. If I just click on Run Optimizer, very, very quickly we get um, our dialog box and different best practice checks are split into errors, warnings, and passes. So if I hit on the error, we can basically see that the first one is that we've got unused fields. I've run this on sort of four or five workbooks and I never have not seen this message come up. Uh, but effectively what Tableau is saying is if you don't hide those fields, then if we were to make a, an extract out of this data source, then it's going to be unnecessarily big and it will affect performance. We have a couple that needs reviewing. So in this workbook, we've got 39 LOD calculations and we've got 20 visible sheets. Again, will have uh, an impact on performance and Tableau here talk about trade-offs. So, you know, are these LOD calculations essential? Can we get rid of them? Uh, and then we have our passes as well. And we can see we've got things like number of data sources, unused data sources, and so on. You can see that actually what this, this feature is, is really more of a best practice checker. It's using the metadata within the data source to do things like counts and return, uh, you know, errors, warnings, or passes. I think there's scope for this to be uh, a little bit more sophisticated. I had hoped it would maybe combine with the performance recording to look at how your workbook is actually used by a user and sort of suggest ways that you can optimize the way you build dashboards and so on. Uh, but Tableau have said they're going to come out with more than these initial 12 checks and who knows maybe they can make this a little bit more sophisticated in the future i think for those that are self-taught that haven't gone through sort of formal tableau training they'll actually find some of this stuff really really helpful you're not necessarily going to be told when you're you're not necessarily going to know when you've uh, learned tableau yourself that some of these things will have an impact on performance so i think for any new users this can be a really really helpful new feature so the next feature that i wanted to talk about was actually the new view data pane. I know on the surface, it seems like one of the smaller new features out of the, the 30. However, I actually think it's one that's gonna be really, really important. I think Tableau have been crying out for this change for a long time, and I'm really pleased to see it's finally here. So to see it in action, let's again go back to the same workbook. So before, whenever you're trying to debug or create a calculation, the one that keeps going wrong, the way I would always approach that would be to like look at the look at one set of data, hit view data. And this is where we can start to see this new view data pane. So if I go to the orders table so I can kind of see all the data, what this would have done before, it would have given me every single column in the data set. I'd have had to scroll right and left and it would have been all of this clutter. But what we are now able to do is effectively customize this view. So I could bring in all of the fields if I wanted to, how it would have been before, or I could actually just select maybe a city, maybe we'll bring in a customer name as well. And then what we can do from here is actually change the order of how these fields are coming in. We can multi-select or we can do sort of one at a time. I might take my region, put it to the left. Um, I can uh, sort of sort things. So I could sort by my state, for example, I've only got one state in the view. Maybe I'll sort by my sales instead and we can sort of look at uh, different ways here, or we can clear it. So effectively, what this allows us to do is answer questions a lot easier, look at the underlying data a lot easier, and customize exactly how we're looking at it. 
And as the cherry on top, if I were to hit download here and then bring up the CSV that's generated, it actually brings it back in exactly the same format as we've defined as well. So if we were sharing data with someone else in our business, for example, they might not want to see everything. We can actually customize and give them exactly what they want. So a small feature on the surface, but one that I think will be really, really useful. And the next one is the new accelerators on the Tableau Exchange. So this is kind of um, a move from Tableau, I think, to try and almost create a little bit of an app store um, where at the moment we have dashboard extensions on offer, connectors, and thus accelerators too. And it seems like a really exciting feature. Again, we have to kind of look at what this means in the bigger picture and moving forward. We have heard in, at last year's conference that Tableau will be looking to release sort of official data sets, more extensions, and as I say, develop this almost like app store for users to go on and start to kind of plug and play with their own data or add more depth to their, to their Tableau usage. So looking at this specifically, I've kind of clicked on the sales and advanced target, and this is the page you'll see within the Tableau Exchange. So this is effectively a, um, an accelerator. So the idea is you would download this workbook, plug it into your own data, and get going with it. In truth, uh, I think this needs um, a little bit of work. Um, I have tried to connect our own data to this, and it's really, really difficult. Um, so at the moment, I wouldn't say it's kind of 100% there yet, but I kind of like what it represents. And I like to think that in the near future, this will be a really, really swift and nice new addition for Tableau. I think again, at the moment, it kind of gives a user idea of what kind of thing they can build themselves, uh, kind of the art of the possible. It kind of gets you 50, 60% of the way there. The rest would be, can I very easily just plug my own data into this dashboard? At the moment, the answer is, Unfortunately, no, but I think it represents a really good direction that Tableau are going in. So it's kind of a watch this space uh, with this feature, I would say. So there we are. They're my top three features from 2022.1. I'm sure there'll be people that disagree. I'm sure there are features in here that I've overlooked. I do encourage you to go onto the website and have a look for yourself. You can filter this by the different Tableau products. Uh, and yeah, 27 features on there that we've not touched on, all of which will serve to just keep on improving uh, the user experience on Tableau. The only thing left to say from me is a big thank you for uh, coming along, clicking on the video and listening. I uh, would love to hear any feedback, love to hear about your favorite features and stay tuned on the channel because there'll be loads of Tableau and Alteryx content for you guys to, to enjoy. Thanks so much.